Princess. Princess. This is Princess before she pops. And I've been saying for two years, yes, she's pregnant. But this time I'm pretty sure she is. Just look. Look at that. And everybody thinks I'm crazy because I keep saying she's pregnant. But look at this. She's got to be. Cat farm. There she is. Just a video. These are the little bitty quail. I had gotten eight babies and there they are. They're running back and forth and uh, they're doing good. I don't know how many males or females I'm looking to find out. I think I just have a surprise down there. Um, didn't tell you about. Because I've been too busy thinking about going every day to radiation. But right there, down there, in that corner over there to the left, is two little baby rams from a sheep that I'd gotten at the sale. She was uh, an overgrown uh, sheep. I thought she would be good for wool because um, I've always liked to mess with fiber and everything and um, I just uh, picked her up um, she wasn't the best quality sheep but um, she was a pretty little thing and you know me I always um, take the ones that are needing a little help and uh, I remember Ruby how um, bad she looked when she first came and then I made her beautiful and, uh, and I'll make um, I'm gonna call her Patches. I'm gonna make Patches beautiful, and um, if I, you know, if I keep her long enough, <laughs> um, I don't know what the economy's gonna do or anything like that. But right now, I have um, two little baby rams that were born a couple of days ago, and uh, Patches is over there resting. And Jethro, yesterday I. Uh, I combed and uh, I sheared him, and that's why he looks different. He used to have all that curly, tight um, hair on him, and I just, uh, I didn't keep his fiber um, because he had gotten it too dirty, but uh, anyway, that's old Jethro, and this little sheep right here, this little goat right here. Um, I'm believing she's pregnant, and she will have a baby here pretty soon. Um, it's just life. Um, it's something beautiful uh, to look forward to every spring uh, when things start blooming and stuff. You wait all year, it seems like, for that time of year. And here it is. So it looks like Jethro is, it looks like he's just trying to be the proud daddy of these two little lambs right here, but we know he's not. 
little Jethro. I shaved his hair yesterday, and she is pregnant. <laughs> so right here is the plum tree. How beautiful it is. It smells so good, and there's bees all over it and everything. Everything's blooming out. Um, I got my tiller in the garden um, like a week ago. I put a bunch of hay in there and I need to till it under or have somebody till it under. Um, I'm not doing that great about mulching and everything. Like um, most people, they have their permaculture garden and stuff. And, and I'm working on that, but it's a slow process. So I'm sitting on the wood pile telling you to have a wonderful rest of your week. And I appreciate you praying for me and asking about me. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Um, come the 15th of March, I'll be finished with my radiation. And uh, I'll be uh, resting a little bit. And um, I'll have a surgery. I think it's three months. And then I'll go from there and uh, see where the Lord uh, leads me to go and what he has me doing and everything. But uh, I'm going to be having a garden and stuff, uh, working and uh, planting and working with the animals and things. And uh, hopefully um, it'll be a wonderful spring and a good summer. Y'all take care. Patriot Homestead. God bless.